get that, I'ma get that, I'ma get that, I'ma get a house, I'ma get that, I'ma get that, I'ma get that, yeah, I'ma get a house, I'ma get that, I'ma get that, I'ma get that, yeah, I'ma get a house, I'ma get that, I'ma get that, I'ma get that, yeah, I'ma get a house. about speaking on the NAM with Pam. I'm glad I was asked to get up there and share some nuggets and share some advice. And anytime I'm able to get a chance to speak, I'm loving it. I'm all about it. Welcome home. Uh, our goal today is to share a little bit about the organization, but most importantly, help you focus on you and helping you to take your business in your career to the next next level. So this morning, this afternoon, it's gonna all be about guys bringing in some great resources, some great speakers, some great panelists. We got a great keynote lined up for uh, today as well from Lending Tree. And then most importantly, we're gonna have a lot of interaction and, and, and dialogue with some great producers at the end. So you'll be able to kind of have some drinks, have some food, network, which is what NAM is all about. Before we start with our panels, what I wanted to do is just spend a few moments to introduce NABA and, and, and share with you a little bit about the organization, who we are, our mission statement. The reason why we started the organization is real simple. We want to help people grow their business, grow their careers, and connect them where they can lead an awesome life and they can take their life and their, their business to the next level. Because I believe being a mortgage banking is one of the best things that you can do in this industry and in this country. And I'm proud to be a mortgage bank. I'm proud to work in this industry. And our job is, and my, my philosophy is, we're going to make sure that people know that we do some great things and we make great things happen. But so please welcome my first one, Brittany Johnson. <laughs> please welcome Paula Alban. <laughs> Ed Everett. He is a licensed broker realtor and head of the Everhome Group. He has a wealth of knowledge in the real estate industry and has been licensed for more than 12 years. He has a team of realtors and currently serves the states of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. In the past two years, Ed has sold over $20 million in real estate. He understands that buying or selling a home is more than a transaction, but rather a life-changing experience. Ed represents one of the best and brightest in the industry, and he is continually striving to lead the field in research, innovation, and consumer education. He strives to make sure that his clients have an amazing real estate experience. Please welcome Ed Everett. They don't even know they can even buy a house. Um, it gives me, you know, great pride and joy to work with them. Uh, sometimes it can be challenging, uh, but you know, it just takes a little more work. But that's that's the majority. Uh, first time home buyers and um, most Hispanic and Latino community. Um, I work with everybody, but eighty percent of my clientele are Latino or Hispanic. All right, so I'm gonna be real. Um, so it's almost like it's a marriage, basically. So it's similar to expectations that you would have in a relationship or a marriage. Honesty, you know, so we definitely want you to be honest and, you know, tell me up front if you can work with a client or if it's doable or if they need to work on stuff. Don't wait until they, you know, put down their due diligence money, earnest money, uh, inspection money and say, hey, by the way, we need reserves. Tell them that up front so they can save for that. So honesty, um, uh, as far as setting the expectation, make sure you set the expectation. Um, just like a marriage or a relationship, you want to set expectations. Um, also, um, you know, accessibility. You know, this we're we're in a day and age where you know everything is quick. You know, if you don't answer your phone. You know, they're going to fire you and the agent, too. It's a, it's a, it's a marriage, so um, so you definitely need to be accessible. Everybody, I respect everyone's life, and, you know, they have personal things going on, but we, you know, text them, email them, call us, let us know what's going on. We're educationally focused. So there's, our career is ever-changing. Um, so our, our real estate world, the mortgage lending world, 
um, it's ever changing and you know one day the rates will be here and the next day the rates will be well, right now here you know so um, that's definitely something that's important to to pay attention to as I pair blenders with my clients and the thing is technology based um, our our world in real estate and lending is is just moving along a technology platform and it's important to be parallel with that because at some point the the companies whether it's real estate or lending companies that aren't technology focused may potentially be out of business because of where our industry is headed i use my lenders because of um to her point they, they make the impossible possible um the communication is thorough um, not only with me, but with my client. That is very important. Um, if my client can't reach them, then they call us, so we have to work double. And we don't even have the answer, so that's important. So they communicate, um, and they're very knowledgeable, and they have a lot of products that fits um, you know, my different clients' needs. Which, well, maybe LinkedIn. I had, I had this one lender say, well, I see you keep on, you know, looking me up on LinkedIn, so what's up, you know? <laughs>